Okay, I think I got myself a record light. And I'm all tangled up in my wires here. Hi boys and girls, it's me Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native, just sounds that way. I'm 78 years old and I'm down at English Bay in Vancouver on Thursday the 29th of June 2023 and I thought for some reason to test out my camera gear what I could talk about would be uh, to give you my take on uh, boxers or briefs. So to begin with the only reason a person wears an undergarment aside from perhaps warmth I mean the main reason, there's several reasons, but the primary reason is to keep poop and pee off of your pants. You can change your underwear daily or twice daily or three times daily or weekly or whatever. The point is you can keep your pants clean and not smelling, <laughs> anything like that. You're getting my drift. The whole point of wearing underwear is to keep the poop and the pee off of your pants. So wh what you wear, I'm not going to be one of those alpha male types that tells you, oh, you got to wear this or you're that, or I don't give a crap what you wear. I'll give you the ins and outs of uh, what the differences are between, say, wearing boxers and briefs. Uh, well, before I get into that, the main thing you got to know is the reason why your, uh, your boys dangle you know your toolbox dangles between your legs is to keep the temperature lower than your body temperature because those little footballs in there are uh, making uh, baby material and if you want to be a dad and have good swimmers that are alive and ready to go then you want them to be manufactured in plenty in a cooler environment from that point of view if you're trying to be a daddy wearing boxers might be a better idea or even going commando uh, but at least don't wear tidy whities all the time if you're trying to be a dad because you're going to keep everything really warm and toasty and that is just not good for making healthy swimmers that are going to make little babies to go wah wah in the night change my diaper do it now so boxers from a health point of view are better for uh, making healthy boy stuff, boy juice. I'm afraid of what I say on here, this is YouTube, you never know what they're going to get up to you about, what words I use. Um, so, oops, somebody might be talking. Uh, so briefs, briefs are more supportive. So if you've got real danglers and you want to keep them from chafing against the seam of your pants, then some sort of briefs may be your answer, you know, for some support. Otherwise, they're going to be banging back and forth across the inseam on your pants. And that's one of the main advantages of wearing briefs. And these days, uh, in the last 10 years at least, uh, some of those exotic materials that the women got to use are now, now available in men's underwear. And you can get really soft, super, super soft, uh, stretchy uh, briefs. And you can probably get them even, and you, you can get boxer style, uh, you know, cling to your body style boxer, uh, boxers. They're briefs and boxers, sort of tight boxers. You're getting my drift, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so whether you wear boxers or briefs really is a matter of choice, uh, except that if you're trying to make babies, uh, going commando uh, to keep your boys cool uh, is a good idea, and boxers and at night sleep uh, sleep naked or with very loose fitting PJs keep those boys cool dangle them in ice water I didn't say that but that's the advice all the doctors will give you is keep them cool uh, to keep the swimmers healthy boxers or briefs uh, personally uh, I go either way now I used to dangle more be more worried about dangling when I was younger, but uh, I've gone through a period of wearing uh, boxers a lot, and they're okay, but my preference is briefs, because uh, I do sort of hang down uh, quite a bit, and, and support is nice. So I like the support, and you know, you're more likely to find me wearing briefs of some sort. 
Today uh, I'm wearing uh, a uh, bikini style swimsuit, uh, which you'll see, or at least you may have seen over the past month or so, advertised widely on different sites. I got this one at Walmart for about $10 here in Walmart online. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. Seems to me it was around $8 and shipping it was about $10 total. So they're about $10 online. They come with a uh, removable modesty cup to put in front to make to make your little thing look bigger or whatever, I don't know. But there is a pouch in the front and it comes with a little foam modesty thing. I, I took it out and it's a uh, Sunga style. It has a drawstring. Uh, so Sunga, that's just uh, Portuguese, uh, Brazilian Portuguese for men's swimsuit. And they're usually uh, looser in the front. Uh, but this is more uh, old style, speedo style, tight all around with a drawstring. It's quite nice. Uh, so. Walmart and Amazon and some other places, about 10 bucks. Uh, made of nylon, it's comfy enough. It's certainly uh, brilliant white in the sunlight, uh, so I kind of like it. Uh, have to be careful a little bit because it's low rise and uh, not super tight, or, or not, not the right way. The material being nylon is not super stretchy, so it could pull away and if you're not careful when you sit down, you don't want your bo your your boys to uh, to dangle out and uh, embarrass you in, in public or on the bus or something. Which, speaking of commando, if you go commando, uh, you want to probably get your shorts just above the knee or something because again, if you are wearing short shorties and and you you'll just totally forget about it, and you go to sit down somewhere at a park bench or you uh, sit down on the bus and your boys are dangling out there for the world to admire, uh, which wasn't really your intention. So longer shorts if you're going to go commando. And I talk long enough, I go on and on and on. So this is Butchie Poo down in English Bay on a warm uh, Thursday evening in June, the end of June. So I'm going to walk up to the camera and I'm going to reach behind and find the middle button. I found the middle button. And I'm going to say bye-bye for Butch. <laughs>